The cost of production is a huge factor for any firm in a market economy. We need to understand how firms try to manage this variable, both for this course and for your future businesses. As we've come to expect, economists often have a different way of looking at things. Before we delve deeper into the concept of cost, we need to distinguish between an accountant's view of cost and that of an economist. I'm here in the offices of a large accountancy firm to meet with one of its senior partners, Mr. Reinecke. Hi, Greg. Nice Hi, to meet Ger. you. Let's go through to the office. Thanks very much. Mr. Reinecke also has to analyse cost, but he, as an accountant, and I, as an economist, do so in rather different ways. Mr. Reinecke, how do you, as an accountant, analyse cost? Yes, Greg. As accountants, typically, we define costs as actual expenditure incurred by the company, mm -hmm. whether it being for the production of a product or a service, or whether it being for the running of the business as such. I see. If you look at a typical set of financial statements, you will typically find the costs relating to the production of the product or the service mm -hmm. would be reflected in a section to indicate a gross profit for the business, and then the actual expenditure incurred for the running of the business would be reflected in a detailed expenditure section. And this uh, typical set of expenses here, what have we got? What are the main well, typically, uh, some of the expenses you might find on here is like advertising, mm -hmm. obviously the auditor's expenses, uh, employee costs, lease expenditure, telephone and fax. And tax? Yeah, typically tax as well. You can't get away from that can't one. Get away from tax. Accountants define cost in terms of actual monetary payments for resources or inputs used in the production of goods and services. These are called the explicit cost of production. But for an economist, cost is more than just the actual money exchanged during the production of a good or service. Implicit costs are usually estimated to be the revenues a business could have made operating in the next best industry. Simply put, implicit cost is the money a business could have made if it were doing something else. The following example illustrates some of the difference between the cost, as considered by an accountant, and the cost as considered by an economist. Suppose you run your own business, and your total revenue from the business is 80,000 rand, while your total explicit cost is 35,000 rand. Consider also that if you did not work for yourself, you could have earned maybe 50,000 rand working for another company. In the accountant's calculation, the cost of production includes only the explicit costs of 35,000 rand. When they calculate the profit of the business, it will look like this. Profit equals total revenue less total cost. So 80,000 rand less 35,000 rand equals a profit of 45,000 rand. Economists, on the other hand, calculate things slightly differently. The economist will also include the implicit cost. That's the opportunity cost of being self-employed. If you didn't run your own business and work for someone else, you might have earned 50,000 rand. Now this represents the opportunity cost of being self-employed. The economist's cost calculation is therefore explicit cost plus implicit cost. So 35,000 rand plus 50,000 rand equaling now a total cost of 85,000 rand. So when they calculate profit, they'll do it as follows. Profit equals total revenue, less the explicit costs and less implicit costs. So that's 80,000 rand minus 35,000 rand minus 50,000 rand. That equals minus 5,000 rand or a loss of 5,000 rand. As economists see things, you are in fact losing money by running your own business. You'd be better off financially selling your labour to another firm. What, however, is not included in this calculation is the benefit or satisfaction you derive from running your own business. Now, if this satisfaction is worth more to you than 5,000 Rand, keep on running your own business. This example illustrates the implicit costs of a self-employed resource. That's you, the business owner. In many cases, however, your firm might